the scandal has rocked the Marines, forcing the top commander to issue some blunt criticism. There's honor here, but there is no honor in denigrating a fellow Marine in any way, shape or form. He's reacting to the revelation of the private Facebook group that circulated nude photos of more than two dozen female service members. That group, now shut down, had nearly 30,000 followers. The photos have since popped up on other sites. In some cases, women were identified by their full name, rank and location. I'm not going to lay this off on anybody else, on the society or anybody else. I mean, okay, but because this is our problem and I own it. We own it. The scandal comes just months after the first female soldiers in a Marine combat unit were posted to a base in North Carolina. Officials are encouraging victims to come forward, but so far, fewer than 10 have. Among them, Erica Butner. We will not be silenced. As a rape survivor, I can tell you that this exact behavior leads to the normalization of sexual harassment and even sexual violence. Defense Secretary James Mattis called the alleged actions unacceptable. We will not excuse or tolerate such behavior if we are to uphold our values and maintain our ability to defeat the enemy on the battlefield. While they appreciate the military's strong words, some ex-Marines say the problem goes back more than a decade and is not just about nude photos, but comments about pictures of fully clothed women as well. These photos were stolen off their social media accounts. They were taken while they were in uniform at work and used to promote derogatory language that promoted sexual assault. More than just prosecutions, Kirk Cuomo says it will take a change in the Marines' culture. I can guarantee you that there's more sites out there than just Marine United, and we just haven't found them yet. So it comes down to changing the mentality in the Marine Corps that women are inferior, incapable, and adversarial. Another site has already been found. It includes postings from members of other branches of the military. So the investigation that started with the Marines is now reportedly being expanded. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.